is photo editing cheating? Is it? That's what we are going to decide together today, my internet family. So I want you to hear me out on this. I'm gonna share my thoughts, what I use to edit, and I wanna see all of your input in the comments section down below. Um, I'm gonna start off with a quote from Picasso. We all know that art is not truth. Art is a lie that makes us realize truth, at least the truth that is given us to understand. The artist must know the manner whereby to convince others of the truthfulness of his lies. If I've already lost you, you better hang about. <laughs> when I was younger, it was a rare artsy thing to consider oneself a photographer. And now, with access to the internet and social media, so many of us consider ourselves a kind of photographer, either for ourselves or for other people. A lot more people fit the description of photographer now than they would have 20 years ago. For me, sharing pictures has become a big part of my job over on Instagram, where I focus on lifestyle photography, if that's what you'd call it. Our world is so visual now and connected, and it's like there's real world us, and then a lot of us elect to have a virtual extension of us on the internet that we control um, and it is weird and exciting and new and not very much understood yet but that's the world now. Social media is a creative outlet for so many people um, as well as a social one and for some it can even be used for their portfolio if they're more of a professional photographer. I want to get real about photo editing in this video and if you take anything from it at all please hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you want more of my accent. Sure why not? Also this video is sponsored by PicMonkey and I have a freebie coming up for you in a bit. First I'll give you a bit of history. <laughs> so a lot of people think that photo editing is a new thing and that millennials are just mad to you know, be editing photos and stuff. It really isn't a new thing. Aside from the fact that artists used to paint certain things very differently than what they look like, there was a lot of control over the image, but even with photos, editing has been around forever. Like, this is the photo of Abraham Lincoln, and that is not his body. The photographer popped Lincoln's head onto some other dude's body and, you know, filled around with the highlights and what was available to them back then. Pretty good editing job. And I'm not pointing this out and bringing this up to say that I am okay with people completely altering their look in photos, especially in the influencer industry. Like, if, sorry, if you are editing yourself to look a certain way and then profiting from selling skinny tees, then get out, but uh, Literally though, just leave the planet, go to Mars. <laughs> like, I think this level of editing completely goes against capturing the essence of the person. Nowadays I choose not to blur out things like stretch marks and stuff like that in pictures like this, um, whereas when I was younger I would filter the crap out of everything so I looked completely different. But now I will upload a photo like that and I will play around with the colours and I'll, I will still make it more visually appealing, you know, without altering how I look. Rambling Mel, going back to this photo, in the context of the time, it was all about the story they were trying to tell with this photo. So. Lincoln, they wanted him to be perceived as strong and someone to look up to and capable. Um, and there is word that he was actually quite a slim and willowy man and that his body and that image of him originally wouldn't have inspired people and convinced people of his leadership capabilities. So when it comes to art and especially pictures of us, we've got human nature and artisticness going like this. There are loads of types of photographers and loads of debate amongst them about editing, but in my opinion, once you disclose that you edit and to what extent you edit, I think it's absolutely fine. Like I recently worked with the lovely Claire on a photo shoot and her Instagram's amazing because she shows the before and afters of like the original photograph, which loads of effort was put into to capture that image, but then she shows the edited version two side by side. And it's very obvious that she just wants to put her own stamp onto the images and have her own style and it's really magical and beautiful looking. With photos, many people and photographers will do things like remove distractions from the background or crop them, brighten them, give the photo a certain feel with certain color tones. I capture loads of photos myself, especially when I travel, but I'll often only edit one and I'll share that one. And usually with that picture, I am trying to tell a story and I'm trying to capture a moment in time of how like I think I will look back on it with my rose tinted glasses that all of our brains have. But I will keep all of the other photos and they remain on my phone just like 
the box of photos that my granny used to have of all these crappy me in the distance dark pictures. I take most of my pictures on my phone. Recently I've been using the Huawei P20 Pro that has an incredible camera on it. It's mind blowing. I genuinely think having an eye for where to take a picture, what to take a picture of, the framing, the lighting. It either comes naturally to you or it doesn't. But I do think that with observation and practice, you can you can get good at it. So yeah, I'm always thinking, what is this photo for? Who is it for? I consider these things before I even take a picture. And sometimes with Instagram, I'm gonna show you how I like edit an Instagram picture now in a minute, but sometimes I will have the caption in my head before I even take the picture. For me, Instagram is a blend of real life and kind of entertainment and stuff. It's mad. All of this whole new world is mad, but yeah, I always think what is the fastest process to get from like taking the picture to sharing the picture online or whatever. And for me, that's like a one-stop shop app. It always has been because I'm lazy. Like I'm not the type to take a photo and then import it into all these different types of things to get different benefits and stuff. I prefer using one thing that has everything I'm looking for. And for me, that is PicMonkey and it has been for years. I've talked about it before. PicMonkey is my go-to editing and design tool on both desktop and mobile. Uh, I usually use it for YouTube thumbnails for my videos, like the thumbnail of this video. It's great for collages and adding arrows and text and all that kind of stuff but um, I also use it for Instagram. Before I show you how I edit a selfie, I want you to know that new PicMonkey is in the works, so it's beta right now, it's not done, but you can have early access with the link in my description box if you register there um, over the next two days. PicMonkey will give you three free months, and this is literally the easiest thing to use ever. I feel like it's a foolproof app. That's what drew me in in the first place, because I am not, um, the kind of person that you'll ever see learning Photoshop. It just scares me. I just like ease. and as you can see I look the same in these pictures I've just enhanced it and that's why I don't know I feel like once we're all open about editing and we talk about it I love it I think it's amazing it's like think of any movie that you love like the whole thing has been it, the whole thing is fake uh, it's I don't know I think it's silly to perceive editing as lying or cheating when the person in the picture, like they'll be in front of you, they can't they can't walk around with a real life filter on them, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we control what we share online and we can make things look super pretty or we can have like a pink theme or a blue theme or a red and white theme for Christmas. Do you know, it's, it's, it's fun, it's art. I think an awareness around editing is so important, especially nowadays because there is people who edit themselves, like they'll edit their bum super big in a picture um, or they'll, even even in ways that they take the photo, like how they stand and stuff like that, and um, it looks awesome, it looks amazing, but I think understanding that all these images you see aren't just real life, you know, I'll see pictures of, of my friends off in Paris and the pictures are just astonishing and they make me want to go and visit Paris which I think is a great thing. Um, however, like I'll get there and you know, obviously everything's not gonna look like that photo because the photo just looks like a fairy tale. For me, that's what photography has always been about. I grew up just pouring through magazines and, and being amazed by you know fashion images and stuff. I have such an appreciation for it. And yeah, no one ever enjoyed looking at a badly taken photo or a badly edited magazine cover, you know? Um, we're visual beings and um, that's, that's just my feelings on it. And I like that I have access to, you know, like PicMonkey's always on hand. It's on my phone, it's on my desktop. And if I have an image that I just think is really, really cool, but then there's loads of other people and I can crop in on it. Say if it's me and my boyfriend and I can just like crop everyone out of it and I can just like put it in black and white and then looking at that picture just brings me so much lovely feelings. I wanna know how you feel about all this um, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit different for me, but I'm trying to keep things interesting. Um, but I'll see you again soon. Uh, thumbs up again if you liked it, comment below, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye guys.